Let us now have a look at question 6. State what is meant by the term heat of combustion. Now, usually whenever we are trying to define different types of heat or energy changes, we try to always relate to one mole of a substance because we want to be uniform. So heat of combustion is the heat evolved or given out when one mole of a substance is completely burnt in air. Now the word completely is very essential because we want to ensure that one mole becomes completely burnt. So because we are looking at heat of com combustion, usually this heat of combustion is given out, meaning during combustion, in most cases, the reaction tends to be exothermic. But at least if you are not sure that's given out, you can be specific and just say is the heat evolved when one mole of a substance is completely burnt in oxygen or air. So the keywords here we have one mole of a substance completely burnt in air. That is the definition of the heat of combustion. When 0.4 grams of an alcohol X was burnt completely, now we are somehow looking at heat of combustion. It raised the temperature of 100 grams of water by 21.5 degrees Celsius. Calculate the heat of combustion of X. So in most cases, for man to measure the heat given off, we try to use water to see how much heat has been given off. So we always assume that the heat given off, depending on the setup that we have, will be absorbed by water. So in this case, we shall always use the formula mass times most specific heat capacity times most change in temperature. That one according to physics, heat evolved will depend on this relationship. So for us to find the heat evolved, we shall get the mass of water times the specific heat capacity times the temperature change. In this case, it will be the temperature rise. So the mass of our water that was used is 100 grams. Its specific heat capacity is 4.2 and the heat change, sorry, temperature rise will be 21.5 degrees Celsius. And then we shall come up with 9030 joules. So this is the heat evolved when 0 0.4 grams of alcohol was burnt. But we want to determine the heat of combustion of X, meaning we need to find the mass of X of this alcohol. We need to know the mass of the alcohol. So that will mean that if 0 0.4 grams of, of our X evolved 9030 grams. Now what about 32 grams of X? Because we are trying to look at the formula for our alcohol X. So what is alcohol X? They gave us the formula mass of X, which is 32. So this is the mass of one mole. So now what will the temperature, sorry, what will be the heat evolved when 32 grams of X are burnt. If 0 0.2 produce this, now what about 32? So it will be 32 times 9030 divided by 0 0.4. So the heat evolved becomes 7, 722,400 joules per mole. So this is the heat evolved when we burn one mole of X because we are having 32 grams in this case. So that's how we can come up with the heat of combustion of X by relating it to one mole. This is our one mole. So heat of combustion will be minus 722.4 kilojoules per mole. I've just converted this to kilojoules. And then the negative sign we have to show that the reaction is actually exothermic, meaning we have some heat loss that has been absorbed by the water in this case. Please take time and find up out the setup that can be used when burning alcohol so that you can see where the water comes into play, how the water positioned so that we can actually see the heat change through the change in temperature.
State how the heat of combustion of our X alcohol that you have calculated above would compare with the theoretical value. Now we are looking at heat absorbed by water. But one thing to note during experiments is that actually we always tend to have heat lost to the surrounding. And before we confirm that actually we should, shall have a less value than the theoretical value, we need to know that we shall have heat lost to the surrounding. Because the formula we have used to determine the specific heat capacity, sorry, the heat of combustion of X was the heat evolved will be equal to the mass of the water, specific heat capacity of the water, times the temperature change. But this is not true because not all the heat evolved is absorbed by the water. So the heat evolved will tend to be less than the actual heat that has been given off due to energy loss to the surrounding. So it would be less than the theoretical value because theoretical values usually we don't, we don't accept energy losses to the surrounding. So give a reason for your answer in serum and one, some heat is lost to the surrounding. Not all the heat evolved goes to the water. Some may be lost to maybe the equipment that we are using or the calorimeter or even just to the surrounding. So that's why we shall always have a less value right from here because not all the heat energy given off from combustion of our eggs is absorbed by water so the value obtained will tend to be less due to heat loss to the surrounding that's all i had for you thanks for watching stay safe